Hey everyone, welcome to episode 3. In this episode we go through the city of London and beyond, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Open CTD. Thanks for coming back. Hope you enjoyed the um, previous episodes. This is episode three of my new map here, and this is where we left it off from last time. We've got the train running, and we expanded the uh, service out down to Kingston upon Thames. What we're going to do today is expand the uh, line even further so what we're going to do is we are going to get straight into it before we do that we're going to change a couple of GRF settings been having a look at the GRF settings that I've got and I want to make a few changes first ones is on tunnels so I've got um, a mod here to change how the default tunnels look at the minute if we look they are this round uh, version tunnel entrance if I scroll down to this BK enhanced tunnels GRF apply the changes, make them look a bit more modern with a kind of a flatter entrance um, like that. I think that looks uh, slightly better uh, for my for my taste of things. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to remove one. I'm going to remove these multi-aspect signals and uh, maybe take a look at them in the future. Now, the thing I don't like about the multi-aspect signals is the height of the path ones, the path signals here. The, I, I don't like the height of that one, so I'm going to remove that one there and apply change it'll go back to the default one based on the track set which means that the default size is slightly lower for the path signal so I think again that makes it look a little bit nicer for what we're trying to achieve here so what we're going to do today we are going to spend the next 20 minutes half an hour or so maybe a slightly longer to extend this line out into Westminster and the city of London and maybe beyond let's see how far we get uh, with that so we'll start down at Earl's Court and we're on this line here which makes it fall reasonably nicely in this area here so what we're going to do is we're going to make um, a, a nice uh, path through Westminster uh, from this line and up into the city of London. So, first thing we're going to do is going to find a place for the station. So the station's going to be roughly in about this area here. So we're going to bulldoze our way through that, which isn't going to make many friends, but that's what we're going to do for now. And we're probably going to end up because these are at different heights. We're going to make this uh, slightly lower. And again, we're not going to be making many friends in this area because of all the different land height. But the, the towns and cities, as I've previous mentioned, previously mentioned, is going to rebuild rather quickly. So let's go back out here. I'm just going to delete all of this. I'm going to go down a couple. And what we're going to do is put the station there ready. And we're going to do the metro stations again. I'm just going to put blank ones in. In a couple of episodes time I think we're going to end up uh, putting some nice kind of eye candy style in. But not today. So we're going to go that uh, for that station. Uh, and we're going to come out over here now. In a similar vein to what we've done before we're going to, going to sort out the roads. As we're going along so town road will probably come up this way uh, we're gonna go three three by three grid and we've been making a rule haven't we to say that generally we've got three out oops don't want don't road bridge uh, tunnels we want rail tunnels so we're gonna go out here put those new style tunnels in and we're gonna get out here Gonna make it another three by three grid. So one, two, three. I'll be one there. One, two, three. That. Okay. So 
We'll have a little bit poking out there and then we're going to come out to here. I'm not going to make the same mistake again. So I'm using some hotkeys there to do some tunneling. So A is the kind of multi uh, train tool and then T is tunnel. And we're going to make this a low level junction rather than with bridges, so that's fine. We'll signal it later. I'm gonna get the um, gonna get the track in. So we want it to come out over here. So we want to try and preserve the embankment, the bank between the um, rail and the river. So again, in here we are gonna have to do a little bit of bulldozing. Oops. And trying to do as little as we can get away with. Oops. To make the rail line through there, that looks quite good. And so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to here help the town out a little bit by making some modifications to the town's roads that goes up goes down now we can put bridges over trains at um, stations but sometimes it doesn't look very good so if I make one here I need to be the same height I put one out as you see it doesn't render very well because of the difference I guess the GRFs are clashing or the visuals are clashing so what do that We'll go back to keeping it as a, we'll put one here. So a B for bridge, put a viaduct across that. What we ultimately want to do then is, oh, I keep going back to trains, we want this to come up one. So we can connect up to that. And we'll want the same here, but these are all in the way. I'm going to get rid of this. We could put that there, which means that that'll allow us to build up. And if I demolish, let's demolish that. We've got the same here, haven't we? What we try want to do is to try and have that the the road has a path, because if it doesn't have a doesn't have a path then the pathfinding for the expansion of the town isn't going to uh, work as successfully as what we might want it to to do. We need to give it the path for it to search around to see where we're expanding or not expanding so we can expand that up. Again let's demolish that. If anything that's going to get in the way of that as well, so... So just helping it out a little bit. We might get some uh, buses running in this area soon. But I think that's uh, not a bad start there. Some of it again can be improved slightly. Probably put a bridge on this side here. Get rid of that. We could put a bridge there. And again, that just helps it out a little bit. Not in a massive way, but enough. Maybe we'll stop. Maybe we stop there. We don't want a bridge, do we? There we go. So that just gives some um, some space for the town to expand once we start having services there. And services will start. So once services start running, it will 
expand at the minute this is every 72 days which isn't very fast but it will it will end up going quite quickly once we've got multiple services with multiple stations in the same place so we've got our Westminster in that which looks uh, looks reasonably good so next stop then is the city of London so we've got our space here haven't we for a station we've got that big that's a big office block now that gives us quite a lot of passengers and mail but we are I don't know part of me wants to go through that area there so where we're we gonna put it so the thing to look at is the catchment area so the catchment area there we're gonna be a little bit into the water there so I might want to be where this road is Gonna help if we're three away, probably one away down there. Uh, let's put it there. So, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna put the station here. Again, we're gonna tunnel down. I know it looks strange, again as mentioned in previous previous uh, episodes around the different construction site for a road, it, it should, as the city expands and builds and regenerates itself, it should change from this like concrete to the more tarmac. In previous games I've, I've gone around and edited all of these myself as we're going along, but in the interest of uh, the recording, just getting on with it as it is at the minute. So the ones I'm placing is the the newer style because those are the ones that if if I do it then it won't be able to upgrade the that piece of road because I'll be owning it or my you know my company will be owning it. Let's go there. So what city of London? Got that there. Got another one out this way. Need to get my hotkeys reset for selecting the roads. Can't remember what the hotkey I used to have for the roads was. So there we go. So we got that. Uh, we are going to go out again. Use do our usual three. So there's one, two, three blocks out. Now this might end up being quite a busy part of the network in London. There's lots of stuff going on in this area. So we'll, we'll carry on through the, the style of what we're doing here. Keeping it low down. That might help us in the long term. Gives us the option to build another station over here if we needed to. Let's just uh, do a little bit of road building. I think I've got towns allowed to build roads. Let's have a look. Towns. Towns are allowed to build roads, yeah. So that's good. Uh, level crossings, that's on. Sometimes I turn that setting off. But we'll leave it, don't want tramway just yet. Yeah, so one block, two blocks, three blocks. Go down. I keep falling for that. Maybe I create a, like a serious counter of how many times I could put a tunnel down, a road tunnel instead of a train tunnel. So we've done City of London. So I've expanded that and, uh, part of the network out. Let's have a look at my planning map that I've got here. 
to see where we're going next. I want to expand it out rather than keep doing bit by bit, it'd be good to do a larger network there. So I think we'll go out, don't we, round. So this line goes round. Kind of goes up a little bit, doesn't it? Normally, it goes around Barking, Dagenham and Upminster. So I think maybe come through the top part of here. Uh, maybe let's not be too brutal with it this time. Let's put it up here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to build that part of the road there. Going to go down. For our cutting of station. I don't know, maybe at this part of London it's maybe on the surface. See that? That is. At what point does it kind of stop? But you know, that's quite a long way away where it ends up coming out the tunnels. Mm, okay. It's been ages since I've been to that side of side of London. That's what I'm going to do. Rather than it being cut down, we're just going to do it on the surface now. Makes our life a little bit easier. Guess do we still have a metro station? Probably not. But in the interest of cracking on, we'll do that and we'll make them look good afterwards. Do the same in uh, Dagenham. It looks like quite a straight line. Roughly a straight line. Just one off. Not a bad guess there. And we want to get this out in that sort of direction by the looks of it. Don't wanna go, do we want to stop off at Poplar? I think we, so we want to be down one underneath. Let's do it, we're, we're here anyway, aren't we? So do the cutting on this side I don't want to go down one there. Let's give it some space maybe to expand if it can do. We'll then tunnel underneath that little river. Woods, that's fine. So I think the idea is that this is going to be trying to be uh, as close to what it might look like in on the district line in on this map. However, I'm not trying to be too perfect because we, you know, we're not stopping. We're not creating every single station. We're not creating every single line. Um, and if we're passing somewhere close enough, like we did down here for Kingston upon Thames, we might as well expand out. Like, yeah. let's do it while we can. So we'll leave a little bit of a cut through or cutting, just to give the train a little bit of chance to go up and down goes up too much 
Oh, see that in increase the elevation too much. It might slow the trains down. Although they are electric, run at reasonable speed. So there we go for there to there. Isn't looking too bad actually. Then where we're going to terminate. So I think in real life, terminates at Upminster before it gets to the M25. Which is somewhere between Ockenden and Brentwood. So Brentwood's on the outside. It just seems to be after Romford. So put it somewhere up here. Does that feel about right? Is it before? Okay, so, uh, so Ockenden is on the kind of eastern side of the M25 this way. Perfectly, Upminster, Romford, Hornchurch, they're all this side. So I think we'll go somewhere here. So if I just mark a stake here for Upminster, we're going to create a new town here. And we're going to go with, not Stanway, we're going to go with up. Minster. Uh, it's going to be medium size, 3x3. Three three. New town, and we're going to click it there. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, well, ah, because I've bought it, haven't I? If I sell it, click it, there we go. So, what place to terminate at now? So I think if we come over to this. Uh, north, northern side. Maybe just I've just created the town. So what I can create, I can take away as well. With it being a terminus, we might do three, three, five. So we'll put that there. We'll sort out the town in a second. So we're going to come out this way, Dagenham. Same here. Connect the two. And we also know that we want to create a, a kind of train yard over here. So these are going to come out quite a distance. Our fashion. Put a passing on entry. Yeah, passing on here, and they are two-way path rather than one-way path. Um, we might put some path penalties and things on it just to help people or help trains pathfind so they're not blocking too much. So we need to then create a depot on this side. We did create a depot over here, uh, down here at Wimbledon. So maybe what we'll do is we'll create an extra view port for this one, so we know what it looks like. Do something similar over here. Now this is going to be slightly larger because it's a slightly longer line. So we want. I want there to be a, a length of train before the next section. One, two, three, four, five. Because what we don't want is we don't want them to get stuck and blocking each other. So, that's, so for train length of five, which we're going on here, so that's train length of five, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and then the signal. So the signal, the square of the signal doesn't count towards the where it's holding the train. The train will be held there. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's let's do one, two, three, four, five. So I'll put another. I'll convert that to a path signal. 
Do it here. One, two, three, four, five. Can't convert it. So one, two, three, four, five. So this here I could put two, but it would only support a. So I can drag and drop, and it'll put ones every two. Um, in reality, we've got a train length of five, so we need to put it every six because that creates a spacing of five in between. So if I click and drag, we're using control puts them all the way down the line so that's five one two three four five as you can see there okay so what we're then going to do is we're then going to build our uh, depots here let's put them on this side so we can see and again I'm extending these out I'll turn off the these again as I mentioned before they don't do anything just eye candy this is the one that makes uh, the difference and here what we're going to end up doing is having a large a large number of uh, platforms, waiting platforms for so we've got one, two, three, four, five. We might go for eight on this side. Um so we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it'll be kind of slightly lopsided. And they all need to kind of get across, don't they? Without trying to block each other. So they can all get over there. That can get over there. So what we end up doing then is let's put some pass signals across there. We might then want some of these to cross there. Don't know if that helps or anything. I'm just trying not to create any uh, crosses. I don't like it. So if it's look, if it looks like this, try and avoid those kind of crosses. Don't know why. Just not my, just not my style. So we need to find these uh, platforms again. I can't remember where they were. Actually, I can do that, can't I? I can see what that one is in. Uh, DWE stations, industrial train tiles. Industrial, uh, industrial train tiles. Yeah. W uh, DWE stations. Where was it? I'm missing where it is. DWE station tiles platforms. Here we go. So we want the ones with like the entry. It's got those five. We then go four. Then we want the buffers and the gravel style buffers. Here we go. And we can call that one Upminster Depot. Okay, so we've got that service from there. We're going to start signalling the, the remaining part of this, um, the network that we've just put on. We're going to remove that one. Because we don't want it to be blocking the other one. So the path signals will look for a path out here. And there'll be a space there if they need one. So that's there. We'll, what we'll do is we'll just do that. So that'll allow us signal spacing all the way down here. Put that down here. So the kind of automatic filling in of 
signals doesn't extend beyond the stations but it goes through tunnels not stations that could be a uh, a pain for people I think because once you land once you know how it works it's not too bad you just get kind of get used to it So this service then is going to go all the way down to Kingspan Thames, town it and return up that way. So what we're going to do then is this this part here, what I'm going to do is pause, pause the video here, it's quite a good point. We've got this point where this train wants to go next to, after it visit Earl's Court, it wants to go to Fulham, so it needs to take this platform and go down this way. At the minute we're doing that through waypoints and having a plan and having a look this isn't really going to help us long term so I'm going to remove the waypoints that we've got there I'm going to do that by uh, fix it by programming the signals on the entry to the station okay so we've got a uh, path signal that's one way path I've not been yeah, I haven't been put one way path so I haven't been putting on my path in, have I? No. So, to program the signals, we've got this handy little button here in the JGR pack. Now, this isn't in the vanilla section. So, what we're doing here is we can then add some restrictions. So, what we're going to do is we can insert in here. And what I always do first is insert deny. So, every, everything is by default denied so if so I want to insert if train is visiting from the wrong side of the signal entry direction is from the back okay and we then want to do to do an and it's another if if next order is is it next order next order is Fulham then so which signal is this one I think it was that one wasn't it then the next signal is Richmond then allow okay so that was that signal so we can go back and show you that signal so so it'll check if it's coming in it's asking to go in this way if it's entering from the back, so from the opposite side of the red signal, and if the next order is Richmond, then it'll it'll allow it past that section, or past that light. So it's like a hidden green light, which is not there, which is great. So we can copy that, and rather than put it in Richmond, we can go Fulham, okay, which is really handy. So we'll put that there. So now this train. He's looking for the waypoints, but where is the waypoint? So we can delete the waypoint. Uh, I thought I'd do it. I thought I'd remove the waypoints. Let's delete them from here. We don't need them in the trains. I don't need them in the train orders anymore. And if I unpause now, let's go into Earl's Court. Again, we want it to go in this load it down there. This worked perfectly well in testing. So it's stop there. Cancel previous tonight. What have we gone wrong here then? So if next order is Fulham, then I'll the train's entering from back of signal. If next order is Fulham then allow, cancel previous deny. What am I doing wrong? All worked previously. Right, 
let's uh, allow it through. Let's see where it'll go. Just waiting for a free path. So it's obviously not got the green that it would. Benjamin from Backer signal and next order is Richmond. Next order is Fulham. Did I put it on the right? Did put it on the right one. Why isn't it pathfinding around? Well, this is embarrassing. If train is entering from the back of the signal, and if next order is Fulham, it's Fulham. So, it's, but it's not letting it through. Allow if trains entering from maybe I just need to remove these for now. That's then going to make it really tricky on the other side because it needs to go next to Fulham. So what we're going to end up doing is doing it this way. Just to make my life easier until I've figured out what the hell's going wrong. These are all going to have to be kind of flat style. So, suggestions in the comments about why that didn't work. I'm gonna have to do a bit, a little bit of testing. <laughs> so I have to do some testing in. Yeah, about what's uh, what's gone wrong there. Not too sure what's going on. I need to check some of my example networks, see what's going on there. But so we need all of those, the three, to be able to go into that direction. Before we get too smart on all of those, which also then means I need to allow more options this way. What's going on there? Waiting for. Ah, because it can't find its path. That's going to cause us a little bit of a problem. Anyway, so that's going, well, I wouldn't say smoothly, but <laughs> we can figure, maybe figure out what's going wrong in between the videos. Let's get that uh, new tube train going. Let's kind of gloss, gloss over the fact that my can't remember the signal programming techniques. Let's find the tube. I could just clone the other train. Here it is. Oh, got another tube here. So what's this one? 40 miles. 45. Why would you? Why would you select the other one? That's older. I've got the Victoria tube here. Do I have, if I buy that one, does it have? It doesn't have different. I've seen if it had different liveries. Does this one have different now? Strange. But anyway, we've got. Strange, isn't it, that the tube carriage can be up to 60. Anyway. So here we are, so we've got this one here. So we go here. Don't go here twice. Uh, no loading. So 
So now loading, and in between we go, after there we go to the depot. After depot we want to go, always go. And then in between here we go, up and start. The second one we want to unload all. And we go, tag them twice, lock in twice, Poplar Woods twice, City of London twice. Oh, it's going to be a nice service. Owls Court twice, Richmond. Kingsborn Thames. Oh, we only got there once. Nice. So timetable. We'll put we'll remove auto separation. Uh, auto fill. And let's go. So there's our second tube on its on its way. So I think I'm going to end the video there. We've just expanded our network out into this part of London, which is nice. We've uh, expanded what one, two, three, four, five new stations, which is good. It's coming along nicely. I think it's going to be quite a busy service down here. We're going to get more of these running in this area. trying to give it some options of how to get through. Like again, allowing more options there. As people, as more trains go through that part of the network. Still flummoxed about the, about the uh, signal programming, but hey ho. I'll do a bit of research in between. So I think in between I'm going to keep an eye on train number two, making sure that runs okay. And yeah, make sure all the signal's correct, make sure the junctions are functioning as we expected. And then on the next one what we might end up doing is creating some more more serve, you know, more more real cars on this um, on this line. Make it a busier service. So hopefully helps the one. It'll help the ratings uh, for these new stations, but also then um, help the towns and cities grow and expand, which could give us more more uh, passengers in the long term. More passengers, more money, uh, which gives us more opportunity to build. So. Um, yeah. All right. Well, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed enjoy the video today. Uh, another another good one of network building. So thanks for watching, and hopefully you hopefully you'll come back next time where we'll add more to this uh, network. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.